I love you. Choose me. Hey, buddy, watch this. Okay, this is actually a really good hand. We got some Keyword and Ivory action. By the way, we could not win at all with this deck when I played it a couple days ago. And now we've just won three in a row like it was nothing. <laughs> Your superpower is never drawing OTK combo pieces. No joke, dude. Still mad about all that wasted Exodia time. Actually, I think maybe tomorrow or the next day, I want to do um, some uh, Hysteria shenanigans with like treachery decks. Like uh, um, that one card that uh, draws you a card uh, every time it attacks. Oh, I should have coined a miscreant here. Not bad. Doo -doo -doo. Definitely not Urel. Definitely not Lithraxian. So Dragon Band it is. Yeah, bad. This is bad. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking backstab this, but well, I don't know. We could still backstab this and Ivory if he plays anything. He doesn't really. Man. Jerk move, dude. Now I gotta play a lackey. Be a good lackey to play. Okay, this is fine. Um, yeah, this might be good against Paladin, actually. They're gonna have a lot of big stuff because this appears to be a big Paladin deck. Two coins to your hands. Okay, I can work with that, I bet. It's fine. Hey, Rama, thanks, dude. Yeah, th I, I appreciate that. I appreciate you recognizing that. It's actually been um, pretty annoying. So, thank you for saying that. Saving one of these for redemption, right? How much is this worth to you? Oh my god, gifted subs and t hype trains. Everything's happening right now. This is popping off, guys. Pretty pumped to just be able to clear Vargoth. That's going to prevent a lot of the like crazy spikes they have. Um, next turn, we'll probably go like Horde, Miscreant. Quest is not making a lot of progress yet, unfortunately. This can fix that, though, instantly. Just play this on six and get it going. Okay, true silver. It's fine. Uh, I boo indeed. All right, let's see what this bad boy has in store. Um, weirdly enough, Oblivatron with Dragon Bane, but I don't think so. Can I get a dragon for the Maligos? Because this would actually be pretty clutch to answer like stuff with the Maligos's polymorph and everything. But it's just, can I get a dragon? Um, a Draconic Lackey. Uh, this is so iffy. I just don't think this is very good against Big Paladin, Lurker Below, or Oblivatron. So I'm going to take this and just pray. I need to get a Draconic Lackey right now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah! No Draconic. That sucks. Hmm. Okay. Can I get a dragon? Yeah, I mean, of course. Clever Disguise and stuff can get me dragons. So it's not over yet, but that was a good chance on the Lackeys for sure. Uh, catch up dude with 200 bits. Oh my god. Thank you. All right. A lot of little dudes. I like this chipping in some extra damage. That's cool. I guess I still just go ivory, right? Uh, what do I want most? Uh, it doesn't really matter as long as it activates the thing. One mana version. There's a chance this lives even if I don't complete it now. Um, oh, Lightning Bloom. Interesting. Lightning Bloom into Spark Joy is pretty good. And, of course, it finishes my uh, quest, too, which is cool. But I rather Hero Power. No, I like the minion on board, for sure. We're clearing enough of these anyway. It's fine. Hanar is fantastic, but I need more secrets. I just played my last bro. But Dirty Tricks can fix that. We're expecting a commencement here, usually. Uh, which means my board is safe for now, but I don't have an answer to the big fatty. Real big fatty. Wand Thief could be a great answer to the big fatty. Okay. So do we want to open with the cheapest possible card or not? Because I only have four mana after the Wand Thief. I guess I can Lightning Bloom in an emergency, but I can't open with this. Do I just open with the lightning bloom? Sure. Uh, 
Magic trick into devolving missiles? No, I can't get devolving missiles. I'm not, not mage cards. I don't know what I'm getting off this sap. Oh my god, please. Nope. These aren't it. Only killed half of it. Man, two tries at that and still not enough. Oh my god, amazing. I don't like that we couldn't even deal with the first one of these efficiently. I'm hoping this counter spell hits heavy though. That'd be really nice. Hope he trades too so we don't have to worry about face damage yet. Like we get some time. So I did overload some mana cap to get next turn pretty easily. I'm trying to save this for one that doesn't have a death rattle in case you're wondering. Um, Because there's like Tyrion, there's... uh, Well... Really just Tyrion. Could probably deal with the other Oh my god, he had a Oh he had a secret to cancel my counter spell. Oh god, that's brutal. Oh that's a good that's a good contract one. Okay. Perfect. Um Contract into coin kobold to clear. Yeah, that's fine. Do I have enough hand space? Yes. Okay, it's actually pretty good. We got through two commencements already. Uh, we just certainly have to get through more threats than that, though. Clever Disguise is going to start creating some, some opportunities for me, and I have quite a bit of mana to work with now as well. Oh, it's just an endless barrage of dude. Dude after dude after dude. Guess we could try it. I don't have anything else to do. Let's see where it hits. Okay. Probably not killing the back out of this, but hopefully it's not too bad. Well, it's pretty bad. Oh, stunners. Okay, finally. All right, that's good. This is finally a good hand. We can finally hit our plagiarized stunner. And I don't actually think I'll stunner this. I, I think we'll probably end up stunnering something else. Yeah, that, for instance. Um, I can just kill that next turn. Yeah, okay. Perfect, dude. Perfect. Uh, and that'll be unplayable once it's stunnered, so that's perfect. I never lie, but I never Need to make sure I get enough mana here to stunner, so I should probably just do that first. Uh, I don't want to mess this up. Uh, by the way, guys, thanks for the insane hype train. I, I kind of got distracted because I'm really in this game, but that's it's such an amazing hype train, honestly. Crazy, crazy stuff. Uh, ambush is really good against fatties. And do I want to kill this or not? Let's see what we get. Uh, explosive trap? No, we we uh, grab another oh my yog for next turn. But I think I think we gotta kill this. Okay. Man, the weapon's so good at dealing with those things. Uh, we're probably gonna burn some cards next turn, but I'm set up really nicely. I mean, oh my yog's great to deny like a duel potentially. Ambush is great to deny just a threat that gets plopped down. Unless it's like Colossus of the Moon, I guess. Good Oh My Yog test. Man, he's really good at playing around the Oh My Yogs and stuff. Ray of Frost sucks. Ugh. Yeah, that's the right target, at least. Does that mean I get a Ray of Frost, actually? Or does that mean I get a Wave of Apathy? Both would be amazing uh, off the plagiarize. Well, that means I get a Ray of Frost, at least. Okay. Ambush is perfect. Yeah. All right, what do I get? Yeah, I get the Ray of Frost. Wow, I lost a stunner, but Ray of Frost are really good. Oh, and I got a dragon! I got a dragon! Yes, I knew this would pay off. Oh my god. Um, flame Strike. I mean, I've already killed both Proto Drakes. I don't think the Flame Strike really hits anything. Maybe Mally's Missiles is actually it. I have plenty of cards for now. Uh, I'm gonna get even more off Hanar, so I think I'm gonna take the Mali missiles. Um, might actually help me kill whatever pops out of here. He's getting a lot of taunts, doesn't he, dude? Uh, we're just gonna freeze that, I think, and uh, hang tight here for a minute and just grab more secret value while I can. Um. I don't, I don't actually know on this one. That one was iffy. Oh! Oh, I can't freeze it. I spent my last mana. 
Oh, shoot. Whoopsie. Scratch that. It's not getting frozen. I screwed up. Whoopsie. I was done with an R, that's all. <laughs> it's just done. <laughs> so I just didn't need an R anymore, guys. No big deal. No big deal. Definitely uh, didn't accidentally spend too much mana. Is this list from HSP Play? Uh, no, I made this. We played this on day one. I just came back to it. It wasn't pretty good last time, so we're trying it again. Ambush again. Okay, these snakes are actually pretty good at dealing with the Colossus of the Moon now. This is lining up shockingly well. Okay, let's just do this. Maybe this was part of the plan all along. It's part of the plan from the beginning. Okay. Man, we have completely dismantled this guy's deck so far. Yeah, exactly. I wanted the snake trap value because I needed to clear out the Colossus of the Moon, obviously. Hit yourself. Oh, pretty good hit. Still, though, lost his duel. How many threats does he have, even have left? We've we've denied both Colossus. Uh, th all three Colossus. We've hit both Proto Drakes, a Black Wing. Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. Still not really that good, I guess, but pretty cool. Um... I think he has a Tyrion? And that's maybe it? I don't know at this stage what's left. I just need to make sure I don't lose in fatigue at this at this stage, and I think we're fine, but but I have a feeling my um My weapon will just win at that rate, right? I'll just out weapon them, basically. Um Maligos with Maligos's missiles on an empty board could be nuts. I'm actually gonna take that. Here we go. I put this in play. No, let's just chill. He could have some more removal. I mean, we've seen a little bit, but not much. Um, he's only got three cards. One of them's completely unplayable. That's probably gonna get a Tyrion that's unplayable. So I'm gonna have. Oh my god, we just completely, just utterly, just completely shut that dual paladin down, dude. That was a cool win. I am actually going to keep Hanara against paladin. I think things like pressure plates and freezing traps could be amazing. And we're very likely to draw into a secret at some stage, so I'm going to greet it a little. Greet it. Yeah, we're going to play some Druid today, I think. I found... Well, actually, you know, we're not going to play Spell Druid, though, exactly. Um, I've seen two Druid lists that people are reporting success with, a more Spell Druid-y list, like you're talking about. But I also saw this list from Fino that's more of a straight-up uh, Tree Druid. Uh, it doesn't have... I mean, it's got Glowfly Swarm, so I guess you could call it a Spell Druid in some ex some instances. But I think I would still focus on it as more of a Tree Druid because it's got Koru. Um but he reported an 18 and two record with it today, which is just obscenely good. Like really, really good. Bear off backstab is completely bonkers. I don't think I can pass that up. How much is this worth to you? Okay, actually a really slow uh, Paladin start. It may be, this may be dual Paladin actually, speaking of the dual Paladin. The one with Goru. Yeah, I think we're gonna play that today. I haven't checked data this morning on meta stuff. I feel like there hasn't been too much disruption. I mean, Weapon Rogue is very good. The meta doesn't look too distinct. Tree and Druid's top high tier two doesn't look too different. Dual Paladin's mid tier two. And there are currently like 20 tier two decks listed on HS Replay. Look at this. Look at all the tier two decks. That's actually kind of crazy balance. To have that many like competitive archetypes. That's Diamond the Legend too. It's not like just random stuff. Uh -huh. Guess I'm gonna backstab now, but I lose the bear off. I don't know, man. I just don't want to lose my 3 2 for nothing. Mm. Suppose we have other ways to kill bear off. I don't know though. I may regret this. We have other vendetta or other backstabs, of course. Oh, proud one with the prime sub and pyro. 
Uh, man, abacus jokes. What year is it? <laughs> Jeez. Um, I love that in the movie Soul, they, they used uh, abacus style counting. That was cool. It was a fun movie. Well, I don't know if fun's the right word, but a cool movie. Good movie. Interesting movie. Do we wait on this to get greedier, or do we just go down? If I can get a good paladin secret like Noble Sack or Redemption, I'm pretty happy, I think. Uh, Never Surrender's probably not it. It's finishing quest anyway, so cool with it, but... I wish we'd gotten a more tempo secret. Deny that. Pressure play is really good against paladin, like I said earlier, so... Hopefully they can't kill this. I mean, there's a chance if they don't have Blessing of Authority or whatever. Uh, they could coin a Librem of Judgment as well, it seems. The Goro one is trash compared to Gibberling Tree. Uh, no, I don't know about that, man. The... Uh, Well, God, I don't. The the one that the one listed on HS replay is just an old school tree druid. I don't know, but it's definitely the Goru version. It's Goru Arborup are the so many options. versions standing out on. I don't know, man. I I I guess I just gotta say I disagree. Fino went eighteen and two with it at top one hundred legend. The Goru version. I'm just gonna say I hard disagree. I I just can't buy that. I mean, I know it's all rank dependent, so it could definitely just depend on rank. But I can't, I can't imagine a Gora version being garbage if it's going, uh, uh, what a ninety percent win rate over top one hundred legend. That just sounds insane. All right, this is big, but I'm not gonna freak out about it. Can only sap it if I have to. Um. Yeah, I will. Oh my god. Okay, cool. I love the damage. This is insane with our current board, right? Man. Oh my god. Pyro, dude. Uh, Grats to Shadow, Wanted, the Cold Bear Pig, Wood, Sleepy, Boros, Vivas, Jay Zyger, Assassin, Aqueta, and Solia. Amazing stuff. Thank you, Pyro, sir. Okay, so let's do this and push more damage. This might really catch them for surprise next turn. Look at this. Holy crap, another 10 gifted subs, you kidding me? Oh my God, how many concentrations do you have, bro? It doesn't matter though, if he doesn't heal or taunt, we're just, it's lethal. Nice, dude, this setup was amazing. Gotcha. these fireballs are for you, buddy. Boom. Uh, Grass Gooey, Father Frack, Dan B, Top Lasagi Bread, and Tiny Jack McCoy. All right, I actually like this hand a lot. This is pretty good. So yeah, I, I hear you. Um, 96, dude. Just we're, we're still gonna try the Gore version, I think. See how it feels. Maybe I'll end up in the same place as you by the end of it. Maybe I'll think it's trash too. Cthulhu. Okay. We all unfriended you at the same time. Well, I have that dream every night, so <laughs> I only came true. <laughs> finally came true my greatest fears <laughs> finally realized no the the only like uh repetitive dream i ever have you know you always hear people having like they have the same dream over and over again the only dream i always have is for some reason that i didn't graduate high school and had to go back to high school i i don't understand that dream at all but that's always the dream i have is that i like somehow I didn't graduate high school and I have to go back and repeat high school of all things. I'm like 30 years old and I'm in high school. Yeah, and, 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 I, and while I'm there, I always remember saying like, I have college degrees. Why, why do I need to get my high school degree again? Like, it's so weird. I have this dream all the time. You had the same one? It sounds like a nightmare. Yeah, I had I had a pretty uneventful high school time. I mean, I probably a pretty positive one in the ultimate scheme of things. Yeah, I, I didn't enjoy junior high so much, but high school I had a pretty good, pretty good run. 
I was very active in sports and clubs and had a good friend group and stuff. So I was pretty lucky in the world of high school. I wouldn't say it was my peak. I'd say that's right now. Life has never been better than it is right now, but high school was still pretty okay. Solarian, uh, I definitely prefer Solarian Prime over these other Primes. This is a good set of options, really. Pretty cool. Hmm, okay, a lot of pressure. I like this. <laughs> no! Byro's here to, to... to invalidate my high school diploma, no. Wow, dude, my abuser returns. Funky Monk, thanks for the 34 months. Spyro, thanks for the bits. Yeah. Listen, whatever delusions you need to keep you happy, Funky Monk, I want you to keep going, dude. Any delusions that keep you happy, please. I'm actually going to be able to clear this with zero mana cards and develop a Jandis. This is bonkers. I guess I should have played Jandis first, eh? Because maybe I would have got some more spell damage, huh? Wow. Even a big, nice minion, too. Can't wait to heal for one. Okay, full board against Druid's generally pretty good. Now, they can obviously do things still these days, but this might be nasty against Druid, too. Oh, my God. I, I actually should have maybe considered a Soul of the Forest. Developing this even further is a little greedy, really. I kind of regret my line. I wish I had just taken a Soul of the Forest. I don't know. Four minions. I might get it on even more, so maybe it's not wrong. It's Druid. Eh, I like this. Starfall would be the only super risk. Otherwise, this is just going to get better in the future. And indeed it did. Um, let's see here. This is going to end the game, right? Pretty much no matter what. How does Druid beat this full soul of the forest board? I don't know. I guess they can't technically, but jeez, dude. Clever disguise coming in clutch. I don't even get to play keyword. This is sad. I'm going to have just a two sticky board. Um, <laughs> who's the token druid now, bro? What is my superpower? Apparently getting good draws off of Clever Disguise. Jeez, we just smashed that dude. Anyway, uh, this is Burgle Rogue. We played this a little bit already and it didn't really work great, but I want to go back to it and, um, I still haven't really seen a Keyword and Ivory utilized deck and she's great for Burgle decks because she gives you, you know, multiple non-rogue cards so she can help activate your quest or just you know play for more value at the top end of a burgle deck like this so let's see if we can get this thing to work today we may have to make some tweaks um maybe not too who knows red opener though mm, do we want to coin a swindle coin's not that great in this list we don't have that many uh important things to cheat out or that many combos to activate there's no like edwins or even like si's or anything or I guess we do have miscreants technically, but uh, Vendettas can often activate as activators too. <laughs> oh, no game audio. Shoot. Okay, yeah, I got you. Hold up. Sorry, I got to hit a button every time. I forget. Uh, how does Keyword feel in Rogue? Well, uh, it's broken, I think, right now. I haven't heard this talked about a lot. I saw it mentioned on Twitter, uh, but it's it seems like it's not being played enough to get noticed or, or something, but... Uh, it's only giving you dual class spells from the original set of dual class spells. I, I'm 97% sure. It's not giving you dual class spells from the current, like, Dark Moon Races set. You can't get, like, Barricade, for instance, or uh, Demonic Studies, or whatever it is, the new Demon Hunter Outcast. Or, you know, there's a bunch. Uh, so... It is missing out on, I, I think, some fairly powerful cards, unfortunately. Illidari Studies, it's called. So I, I, a resizing pouch it's missing out on, that'd be an amazing card to get. I don't know. I, you know, I saw a tweet, but I actually, I don't know if Blizzard's aware of this. Have you guys heard about this? I saw John Bray tweet it, and I that's all I've heard. And I looked myself, and I haven't ever gotten an offer that wasn't an old dual class. I mean, maybe... Maybe that's intended. Oh, Hysteria is another great example. Yes, of course. Great, great tool class card. Maybe it was intended? I, it doesn't feel like it should be. This is actually really good for us with all of our secret package. We don't have any now, but I'm sure we can find some. 
Pyro, dude. Thanks much uh, for the 100 bits, dude. I'll take all them rude stones, dude. Uh, <laughs> is that what yours are now? Is that what those gems have meant to symbolize the entire time? Good to see you, dude. Thanks, 100 bits. Happy Sunday. Counterspell against Druid. I mean, it could hit a big ramp piece or who knows. Let's get some tempo. Druid's bad against minions usually. Okay. And this, of course, plays into here. These are great. And this is great with them. So next turn we can go like Spark Joy Hero Power, Spark Joy Pharaoh, just keeps working. This is feeling pretty good. Prediction for the next keyword. Oh, dude, I don't know. They make up so many just crazy keywords. That's like impossible. I would love to even know the next expansion. I don't know anything right now. I, uh, I didn't, well, I do know, I guess I do know a few things that I learned a while ago, but I haven't learned anything in a while, but I don't know anything about cars in the next expansion or, um, nothing. I know nothing. They don't tell me anything. Oh boy. What is this? Guardian animals already? No one. Positioned well, but, uh, everybody keeps telling me that Moonfang is really good with guardian animals. I, I gotta be honest. I'm not convinced. Somebody break down why they like it so much. Oh, just double owl. Okay, that's not a problem. Vendetta's clean those up. Or weapon. Why do we like, um... Oh, I should probably play this. Uh, just to make sure that the counter spell gets played for free. Why do we like... Can you guys break this down for me? Why do we... I feel like I kind of want to save this. I don't know. Counter spell dirty tricks. Uh, I think there's my bigger threats. Why do we like Moonfang so much off of guardian animals? I mean, it seems fine. You know, it's resilient. But it's not... It's not... I don't... Is it any better than Teacher's Pet? I, I To me, it feels worse than Teacher's Pet, to be frank. But, uh... I'm trying to learn from you guys here. Why do we like it? Do we want this? We just want a hero power. We're not really pushing enough threat yet, so I think we do want this. Okay. All right, interesting. Got a secret, so that's cool. That's a pretty good card. Because Moonfang is a cool name. <laughs> that, that's what I feel like, but I just... Guardian Animals doesn't really see... Oh my god, that counter spell. Wow. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. That feels great. That's good news. Plagiarize into... Um, never surrender. Just get another cheap secret and then play here. Um, shenanigans? Yeah, sure. Yeah, shenanigans. Let's go. I love shenanigans. And... Mm, you know, I don't know. I guess, I guess pack tactics is fine. So guys, if I have a side quest up, I'm not allowed to play into the secret, right? This occupies that slot on the on the hero. I think. I don't know that for sure. So one of these is gonna get turned into a banana. We don't know what card it's gonna be, but it's now a banana. Or that is, I mean, yeah, that's a banana. I wonder what we got. I'd love to know. This is fantastic to help us keep pressure up. What is this still plagiarize? Uh, we're gonna burn cards, yeah. We're gonna burn the banana oh no we're burning a million cards so what am i kidding we got just the banana and the backstab actually not a million not a million that's fine okay so um vendetta there's looking pretty nice uh we can kick off another hanar of course do we actually want to blackjack stun that no it comes back for free so we'll, we'll kill it do i want a weapon then is the question uh, or just trade in the 3-5? That doesn't feel that great. I don't know. We'll see what we get here. And make decisions. Um, ambush. Spellbender. Mm, let's go ambush. Get some more. Oh, we're getting a nice 6-6 six, six for free. Nice. Yeah, of course. Beautiful. Open the cages seems fairly likely at this stage. Uh, can't play another ambush. I guess we'll go noble sack, even though the mana's off here. 
could have maybe hero powered instead, but I want I want greed. I want to greed the value here. Okay, A really good spot again. These aren't really the best secrets. I mean, they're definitely more board based than the last set, which I guess could be good. <laughs> Trudius, dude, what's up? I am a mysterious challenger with all these secrets. Um, Trudy, thanks, other bits, dude. Uh, Pyro, thanks again. Why no shenanigans? Well, we talked about it a lot, actually. Uh, it just, at the end of the day, it just didn't seem good enough. Despite, you know, it's something I wanted to run because it's a new card, obviously, and we got a secret package, but it just didn't seem quite good enough. Arbor Up is so insane, dude. <laughs> it's just completely busted. <laughs> Um, do we have lethal though? 10 plus 3 is 13. Uh, well, hold on, let me think. 10, 13, 15, 16, 17, uh, 20. I have 20 damage right now for real. I'll try to find something off Clever Disguise. Don't let the door hit you. A lot of damage in that potentially. Oh shoot. I can't I can't go then. I have to respect the board pressure here. Uh flame ward maybe. Oh flame ward. Pressure plate's pretty good. Okay. I guess we're killing some of these then. Uh bamboos is fine. I just kinda have to, right? Still gonna push some pressure, of course. We have a freezing trap, so one of these is not a threat, and a noble sack, frankly. Not too bad, really. Seemed worse. We still managed to get a lot of damage through. Our weapon is not getting any value, but this this Hanar just been on board for so long. How can I pass it up? Tack tactics, sure, sure. Noble sack. Freezing trap. <laughs> just every secret is one thing. Brock three secrets. That's amazing. Uh, okay. I love his portrait, by the way. I think that's still my favorite looking portrait. I kind of wish I'd taken it. Rustwick is the most fun I've had in Hearthstone in a long time. I, I agree, dude. He's really cool. I love the idea. I love the greed, the value. That's my favorite kind of card. It's a big, greedy value bomb card. And I like that it's not like ruining your opponent's game plan either. It's, you know, it's sort of neutral to them. Which is fun. Oh my god, that's a clutch pressure plate, too. <laughs> Lightning bloom into Trey. Okay. Do we have enough easy ways to, or any ways, really, to get through this stuff? Um, Icicle. I mean, there's always a puzzle box, but... Let's let's see if we can't Icicle in, like, a Flame Strike or something. Just rolling Fireball. I don't know. I haven't checked yet. Let's see. Not really. He's got a lot of health now. Okay, still an enormous board advantage, though. Again, I didn't really get any Hanar value, but it doesn't matter. I'm just pushing. Uh, Try some Highlander Quest Rogue again. Ooh, that sounds fun. Hmm, Ivory was your only new card. Yeah, that's kind of the story here, too. Uh, Shenanigans didn't feel worth it. This is not really a Nitro Boost kind of deck. Neutral stuff didn't really stand out. Nice! Good win, team! An R carry, dude. Druid having trouble there.